All right, so hopefully you watched my last follower video and it was getting too long. It was very uh, opinionated the first, you know, five to 10 minutes of it. And so I wanted to go ahead and make this video as a follow up and it's going to be specifically looking at the bring your own key and what that looks like. Okay, so go back and watch that. I'll try to leave a link below if I can remember in the description to go watch that first follower update video where we're talking about the kind of the AI, they kind of reduce the AI images and so forth. So I kind of go off on a tangent on that. And then also the autopilot auto listing feature right over here was just released and it's super, super cool. It's exactly what I wanted in the tool. And now I feel like the tool is complete. You were able to just push button, push a button and it automatically schedules to the, your custom schedule that you set up. Go watch that video. I said, show you how to set all that up. Super cool stuff. Now this is a continuation of making the same, the video, this second video, I'm making it the same day right after making that other video. So you can see that we just created all these posts right here. We created 10 posts or whatever. And you can see that we had five when we started out. AI images was just at five out of 50, and now it's at 15 out of 50. And so really, when I really look at that, so one, two, three, four, five, and then six, seven, eight. So I'm not really sure if it if I created, if I fully created 10, I'm only seeing eight that I created, but nonetheless, you can see that the AI did charge us for 10 more images right over here. So this wouldn't be sustainable on tier two, if you're like I like I said, if you're operating by yourself and you need and you just want to use followers credits, then you're going to have to buy a higher tier. But when we come down here, I, what I want to show you is where is it at? If we go up here to learn wire, we have our brands right there, but go into the settings button over here. You would think that it would be over here under settings, but it's not under user settings or company settings. It might be under company settings over there. But if you click this button right over here, it's going to bring this these settings up over here, which I think that those are just company settings. We can also get there from company settings right over here as well. Okay. But now we're going to scroll over here to the column that says external API keys. I'm going to add an open API key over here and a Anthropic one as well. So if I click on learn more right over here, it should take us to the, where we need to go. It's going to show you everything you need to know about creating that. I'm not going to show you how to do that right over here, but I am going to go and grab my keys and real quick, and I'm going to paste them in right here and save and turn this on, you'll see a little dash, right, a little button over here, you're going to turn that on. And then we're going to go and test this out and see if it reduces the AI images um, for us, because it does say right here, enter your API keys to access and utilize various AI text and image models. This allows for personalized and enhanced functionality tailored to your specific needs. Now, I don't really know if so st stability right over here, if I just put that in, let's go and take a look. This is a stable diffu diffusion three medium. So this is definitely the images that we would need to get in order, I believe in order to use the, the images, but I'm not sure because you know, ChatGPT creates images now as well and I have a premium version of it. So I'm not really sure how all that works, but I want to come over here and look at, do they have pricing over here anywhere listed? Like how much this costs over here? Not really seeing the price. Get started with API, so we have to click on that. It's gonna take us over into kind of the background playground area. And this is where it's gonna probably tell you like how much it costs and so forth, right? So, but what I'm gonna go do is just get those and plug them in and then we're gonna go do some more tests real quick. Okay, so I just wanted to show you, I haven't used a Claude API before. You are gonna to have to go to console.anthrop.com, so it's different than the regular site which is just right over here, Claude.ai. You're actually gonna have to go over to console.anthropic.com slash dashboard. And then we're gonna go over here to get API keys and that's how I'm gonna get my API key for that. Okay, so I just wanted to show you what this will look like. I'm blocking it, uh, obviously. But I pasted in my open API key here. I pasted in my Anthropic Claude API key here. And then I turned these buttons on to be blue and then we should be good. And I've also already went to clicked out at home and then I went back to the settings and back over to the API keys and it's saved. So it basically saves when you click this button on. So we're good to go. So let's go do some testing and see how this works and how much, how much this costs us. All right, so I'm gonna use just the first one from uh, chat or they have some over here you can use. But I'm gonna say create a post about YouTube video editing. We've got AI image where we've still got that selected, right? But remember, there's different options you can choose, creative image, stock image, no image. But I like the AI images the best. We're gonna make sure it's on Pinterest post and I'm gonna say generate. So it's gonna generate. And I'm gonna go ahead and just push four posts and we'll be right back.
And I forgot to look down here. We do know that we used 15 AI images. I think that's the biggest thing that we're looking at. But I forgot to look at what the, oh, okay, so right over here, we'll be able to see the words is 2100 and the AI images is 15. And we'll see how that changes once these are created. And you can see the AI images is already changing. It went up to 19 while we're creating this. So the AI images is not changing. Words is going up as well. So I'm not real sure. The words only went up like 540 or something like that. So it did hardly used any words at all. It shouldn't be using any words because we have that turned on. But as far as AI images, it created four posts for us. And that just tells me, I wanted to do this test. That just tells me that we do in fact have to use stability AI in order to be able to get the images to create for us and not use the AI images, right? So we have this over here. So it created some, some posts for us and some nice images. And we can go ahead and just push save on these. So we can automatically schedule those, which is just awesome that we're able to do that. But that first test proved to, to be, now the words went up literally like, I don't know why the words went up at all. The words shouldn't have gone up at all because we're using our own key, but there might be something in there where it's writing the titles or something like that for us. And then all the rest of the content is being used by open API. I'm not really sure. I'd have to get on chat with them and ask, Hey, well, I brought my API key, but why is it still charging me? We could go and use now, now you can see we did. And then look, open API dolly three. So th that's already defaulted and that's what it's using to create these but we're not getting that, you know, even, even adding our own open API key, it seems like it, I mean, it's still used. It's still telling you if you have that, okay, it's going to use one credit. And so that's why it created four images for us and it used four credits. Now we can, because we added our API key, we can use um, Claude 3.5 Sonnet that unlocked for us. But if it's going to use 10 word credits, I'm not sure why it's going to use that when we uploaded our API. So, so far, I'm not really understanding the bring your, your own key. We did bring our own key and it's still charging us 10 credits right here, even with our own API. So that part is very confusing, not working well. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on an open a stability API to see if we can reduce the AI image right here. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I found the pricing page for stability. It's right here. And you can see you have price per credits right here, depending on what version you're going to use. We'll come back over here and see if we get to choose the it's just stability core and stability ultra. So stability core is two image credits. And that is the part that's confusing guys is it's even if I unlock this, is it you know, is it still charging us? Because that doesn't make any sense at all. So we have the core uh, is three um, credits. Ultra is eight credits right over here. It does look like we get some free credits, 25 free credits for opening up this account. And then credits are priced at $10 per thousand credits right over here. And so there you go, guys, you could get $10 for a thousand credits right here. It's going to take three credits per image. It looks like right there. So you're basically going to get about 300 to 400 images um, with the $10 plan right there. And you can pay $99 annually for followers, you know, for followers plus account or monthly, you can pay $12.50 for a monthly. I'm not seeing, let's see, reliability assistance, innovative idea generation, you get enhanced content creation tools and improved image quality rendering. But I'm not seeing that you get more credits added over here. So yeah, it's, a, it's a, just a little confusing, guys. The <laughs> the words, the word count, the credits, all that stuff. Like, how would I be able to get more AI images? Even if I got eight codes with them and I wanted to use, but what, what, what if I wanted to get 3,000 AI images, right? How would I be able to do that with follower? It's still unclear. Okay, so I did get my API key for stability API, and you can see that I pasted it right there, and I also turned this on. Let's go do another round of image creations and see if it impacts the AI images at all. Okay, so I have, I'm reaching out to support to try to get some of the questions answered. I did have all three of those APIs uploaded. I did was getting uh, errors when trying to use, when we come over here, when I was trying to use Claude 3 Sonnet, I do have the API key and everything, but I was getting Claude 
errors. So that was not working for me. So I did just switch to open API GPT 4.0 just now. And you can see we're getting, you know, a nice post right here and the image right over here. Wanted to see it did take another AI image because I just now I clicked off of the stability API because I wasn't sure if that was causing an issue or not. So I'm going to go ahead and try another test by turning that on again. And then we'll go ahead and try again. So I'm going to say, and we'll push generate and why not? Let's just try four more. And remember when we come down here, we're at 20 out of 50 and 2551 right there. And we'll see what that looks like in a minute. So words is still increasing right there. That is an issue that I don't understand. I am going to be reaching out to support. So we're using premium. We're using open API GPT four, but it, and it shouldn't be taking up words. And then it's also taking the images are also increasing right here as well. So right now the bring your own key doesn't seem to be working because it is still taking word count and AI images out of our, the bank that we're using. Right. And these are nice looking posts, but the bring your AP own API, all that's doing is unlocking the ability to use the premiums over here, but it doesn't, it still takes credits. It still takes credits no matter what. And we'll go schedule those real quick. Okay, so I'm right over here. It says it used 13 credits inside of stability. So it did use credits and it also used credits inside of follower now, I don't know if this is because it's making better images. I, I really don't know, but it did also use more AI images here. So unfortunately, it, it's pretty confusing, right? Because we're, we're connecting our API keys on the bring your own key, but that should prevent us from having to use credits here. And that does not seem to be the case at all. We're still using our credits inside a follower while uploading our API key. So I'm not really understanding the reason to even use those other than uploading our API keys allowed us to unlock a GPT 4.0 and unlock Sonnet, which Sonnet we also had issues with. And then it also allowed us to use Stability Core and Stability Ultra. But even if you unlock those, they're still going to charge you credits for those, if that makes sense. So hopefully this gave you at least a little bit more of a filler, a little bit more of an update on the Bring Your Own Key. I think it needs some improvements. I'm not as impressed with the Bring Your Own Key as I am with the autopilot features. So if you were gonna ask me what my opinion on follower right now is and what I would do right now with the tool, I would go to AppSumo if you were really gonna use this tool and, and I would go ahead and upgrade to a higher tier. I mean, when you're looking at the pricing, even six codes, you're gonna get 500 AI generations. You need one, like for me, if I'm gonna use this five times a day for my one brand, I need to at least be on, let's see, uh, I need to be on tier three. So I'm gonna need to upgrade at least plan three eight, for 87 bucks. I've already paid 58 bucks for plan two. So I'm just gonna upgrade for another 20 bucks and I'm gonna have plan three and I'm gonna have the 200 AI image generations and that'll give me enough to do five per day for the month, right? So you wanna calculate what you, your usage is, right? So if you go all the way into tier, you know, plan eight and you have a thousand AI generations per month, so you take 1,000 and you divide that by 30 days per month, you'll be able to use 33 of these per 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 day, right? And so you can break that up into, you know, if you were if you had that and you were managing a uh, divide five, you'd be able to manage six accounts on that plan per day if you're going to use it for five AI generations per account. Or if you're going to do, you know, 25 to 30 AI images for one account, then you'd be managing one account. You would just be blasting it with a ton of, a, of content. That's the way I would use the tool because no, the way it looks right now is that you're still going to use AI um, credits from the plan on follower no matter what. I don't think that the words, yeah, as you can see right over here, we're gonna easily use our AI images way faster than using up our words. So I don't think that you're gonna ever in, end up use, using more words than AI images. And so the AI images really is the big deal. But in a lot of people, this might frustrate because they changed their plan or whatever. I didn't see that happen, but that's what people reached out to me and told me that they reduced the AI images by half on all the plans. But at the end of the day, when you're even at tier eight, 
plan eight and you're only at $232. And this is gonna work for most people's use cases right here for that plan. It's still well under any other tools that are maxed out. They're usually $399, $499, $699, all those kind of stuff. So it's still very well priced. And I still think you get a lot for, for what the tool is offering us. That's my opinion. What do you guys think below? Is follower just a pass because of these changes that they did? Or do you um, also see the value in the tool? Let me know. And I'm glad I was able to uh, do this testing for you guys so you don't have to. We'll see you in the next video.